On today's show, I'm going to show you something that you absolutely, positively, without question, do not want to do with your GH5. Good morning. Welcome back to Photo Justice Photo Moment, the first live three times a week show. Show here at youtube.com slash photo Joseph. We talk about all things photo, video, live streaming related. It has been a fun week. We've had a lot going on this week. My goodness, what a week it's been. There's been videos every single day, live shows every day. It's been, it's been fun. But today we're gonna end this on a, I don't wanna call it a down note. Well, it's a total downer for me, but, um, but this is going to be a, a PSA, a warning, a notice, a little bit of education to all of you GH5 users out there who may very well make a mistake like I did. Um, and hopefully this will keep you from doing that ever. It's not an easy mistake to make. And as I take you through the mistake, you're gonna go, well, duh. But don't worry, we get to the end, you'll see why I made this very, very dumb mistake. And, um, and hopefully again, it will help you to keep that from happening. So here's, here's the setup. We've got in here a GH5, just so you know what I'm working with here. I've got my GH5, it's in a small rig cage, um, and I've got the port keys new five inch monitor on here that I am currently testing for review. We will of course be talking about that more in the future. Um, I used it for the first time out in the field yesterday. It was quite good. I liked it a lot. It has some limitations. I will uh, finish testing it and then give you a full report on that soon, but it's pretty cool. I'm digging it. Anyway, so that, that was the rig that I was shooting with yesterday. Okay, so that's what we got. Now you know how in the GH5, when you're shooting in 4K, your top level, your two kind of top ends are you can shoot either 4K 30 frames per second, 30p in 10 bit, or you can shoot 4K 60 frames per second, 60p in 8 bit. All right, so 30p you can get 10 bit, 60p you can get 8 bit. You can't do 60p 10 bit internally. The camera just, it can't do that. It's none of the power. Nothing can. So 4K 30 10 bit or 4K 60 8 bit. However, there's this really awesome capability where you can actually get 4K 60 10 bit, so the top end of everything, but only on the HDMI out. So if you take something like an Atomos recorder and you connect that to your GH5, you can actually record 4K 60p 10 bit to the Atomos recorder. In that case, you're recording it to ProRes, so it's like 800 megabit or something. It's incredible, right? Woohoo, this is awesome. And the way that you do that is pretty straightforward. So let me go into the menu system here on my Lumix camera. Uh, here we go, there's the menu. So you go to the uh, the video menu, the video mode there, and you scroll down to page 404, and it says HDMI record output, this is where your settings are, and you scroll down to the second page, and it says there 4K 60p 8-bit, a uh, 4K 60p bit mode. And by default, it's set to 4208 bit. 4208 bit means it is sending out of the HDMI port, if you have an Atomos connected, it is sending out 4208 bit, the same thing that it's recording internally. However, if you wanna get that 10-bit recording, then you go to this menu and you switch it to 422 10-bit. Now, when you do this, it's gonna give you a warning. It says, cannot record to the memory card, the internal SD card, with this setting when the HDMI cable is connected. Very important point. It cannot record internally when the HDMI cable is connected. Okay, and it warns you, it tells you that. So you know, well, there's no question about it. It's not gonna record. Okay, cool. Do you wanna proceed? Yes, I do, so I hit yes. So now, we're all good, right? So now, let's take a look through the camera. And I am going to, actually let's do this first, I'm going to disconnect the HDMI cable that was allowing you to just see that menu. We'll just take that off for now, we're done with that. Now let's uh, look at the top down view of the camera, right, because I can't actually show you through the HDMI now with the HDMI disconnected. So you're looking at the top down view, hello, that's me. I'm going to hit record. And when I hit record, we see two things. We see a record light there, and we see this little indicator here. That tells me that it's recording to the SD card, that tells me that it's recording. So you'll see up here the mode that we're in. We're in the 60p 4208-bit. Because we're in 4208-bit and I'm recording internally, that's what I'm getting is 4208-bit internal. So I'm getting the 8-bit 60p internal. Good to know. If I wanted to record the 4222-10-bit uh, 60p, I would have to hook up an external box. Okay, so let's do that. Right, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my recorder here and I'm gonna plug this thing in. All right, so that's plugged in now. And now let's take a look at the, oops, let me stop recording first. Let's hit stop on there. Stop recording, okay, there we go. I'm gonna plug this guy in. Plug, hello, HDMI port, there you are. Plug that in, and let's go back to the top-down look. Now I'm gonna hit record again, and it gives you an error. 
It says this operation is disabled in the current HDMI record output bit mode, 42210 bit. So what it's telling me is that I have just tried to hit record while I have an external device connected, but it can't do that because it cannot record 42210 bit internally. So saying, hey, you can't do that. Uh, right, because the HDMI is sending out 420, 42210 bit. So if I want to record, I got to go to my Atomos and I hit record on here, right? Which is what I would do. So I would go to the Atomos here and I would say, right, record. And I am now, well, actually hit the button. There we go, record. And I'm now recording 42210 bit 60p on the Atomos device, right? Super. This is awesome. Stop that. So that's what I'm getting. But wouldn't it be cool if you could push the button on here on the camera and have that trigger the recorder? Oh, you can, right? This is awesome, right? You can do this. So let's go back into the menu again. And I'm going to go back into the HDMI menu. And down here, there's this option. This is HDMI recording control. It's currently set to off. I'm going to turn that on, All right? This is cool. So now we get a new little display, a new little icon. HDMI is paused. We're obviously not recording. I'm going to push the button on the camera. I hit, to re hit the button to record. And now it's recording. And it shows me where it's recording. It's recording out to the HDMI port. That's pretty slick. And if we look at the... Atomos, you can see it is now recording, right? It started automatically. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop on the camera, hit the, the shutter button on the camera, and take a look again at the Atomos. It stopped. Pretty cool, right? So this is incredible, right? The camera is telling the HDMI recorder to start recording. I hit stop, it tells it to stop recording. Here's just a little thing, though. When I'm doing this, let me, let me go back into this again. Let's go back to the uh, close-up here. I'm going to hit the button on the camera to start recording. It's recording both. We look at the close-up of the Atomos recorder. It's recording. I'm going to hit stop here. OK, so now it's stopped recording. But if we go back to the camera, it doesn't know that it stopped. right? It does not realize that it has stopped. If I push the shutter button on the camera, it stops here. But nothing has changed here. Nothing has changed over on the Atomos. So here's what this tells us. Here's what this tells us. This tells us that when you have the HDMI recording mode turned on, when I hit the button on the camera, it sends a start recording command to the Atomos. When I hit stop recording on the camera, it sends a stop recording command to the Atomos. The Atomos, however, does not send a command back to the camera. If I hit start or stop on the Atomos, it does not tell the camera that it is recording. So the camera is not going to display that. So you can, while you can get into a state where you've hit record on the camera, you hit stop on the Atomos, the camera is showing you that it's recording, but the Atomos isn't, that's easy to do. You can't get in a state where you think you're recording on the Atomos, but you're not because this is telling you that it isn't, right? So it, it, the, the Atomos is not going to tell the camera it's recording or not recording, um, basically is what that comes down to. Okay. What this tells us as well is that the camera doesn't know that there's an Atomos here. All it knows is that there's an HDMI device connected. OK, so why is this a problem? Well, here's where it becomes a problem. This device that is currently connected is not a recorder. It is just a monitor. So I've just set everything up to trigger recording on the Atomos. Now I'm going to unplug the Atomos. I'm going to plug in my external monitor. And let's go to that top-down view again. And I'm going to push the button on the camera to start recording. And the camera tells me it's recording. It tells me it's recording off the HDMI out. But it's not recording, is it? Nothing's recording right now. Because this is not a recorder. It is just a monitor. All it's doing is monitoring. The camera thinks it's recording because it has told me, hey, I can't record internally. I can only record in the HDMI out. The HDMI device is sitting there going, I'm ready. It doesn't know that it's actually whether it's actually recording or not. It's just sent a record command, and this device went, "Dude, I'm not a recorder," and just threw away the command, and that's all there was to it. So now I think I'm recording, but I'm not. And this is what I ran into yesterday. This is the problem that I had. And you think, okay, well, come on, dummy, you're going to do all this setup. How do you do all of this setup and not realize what you've just done? Well, here's how you do all this setup and not realize what you've just done, because this configuration that I've just shown you. I have saved into one of my C modes, my C1 mode. See, on my camera, on my GH5, you got your C1, C2, C3, right? C1. Mike, issues, we're back. So, recap, because I have no idea where I was. The camera has told the external device to record. The external device is not a recorder. Um, I have saved all the settings into the C1 setting. That's where I was. So C1 is currently set to do 4K 60p 8-bit internally, 4K 60p 10-bit 
externally. That's what's saved into the C1. My C2 setting is set to 4K 30p 10-bit internally. And I switch between those all the time. So I prefer to shoot in 60p, but if I'm hitting a situation where I see there's a lot more dynamic range, something where I think I might need a little bit more flexibility in the grade, I'm going to switch it over to 30p with the 10-bit. So I'm switching back and forth all day long. Those HDMI settings are programmed into my C1 settings. So when I go and, let's see here, now that I've set all this up, let me hit stop on the camera and go back to the overhead view. I'm going to switch the camera into C2, and I know you don't see me doing that, but I switch into C2, you see there it says uh, 422 10-bit 2997. Great, so if I hit record now, it is actually going to record internally, right? So it is recording internally because this mode does two things. It records internally and it records over the HDMI. It gets both, right? That's kind of cool, it's recording both. Of course, I don't have an HDMI recorder set up, so it's only recording internally, but I got my shots. I'll stop that recording. I'm gonna switch the camera back to C1, and now you see it's in C1. You can see that it's in 60p, 4208-bit. I hit record again, and it is only recording to the HDMI. It is not recording to the card. And unless you see that it is not recording the card, unless you see what is not there, <laughs> the indicator that says it's recording to the card, you think you're recording when you're not. This is the problem that I ran into yesterday. So if, here's the takeaway. If you are going to set this up and save these as custom function settings, either be very, very aware of this, and so you just know not to make the mistake, or don't include that HDMI triggering in your custom function setting. Clearly, it's going to depend on your setup. If you're switching back and forth between an external recorder and an external monitor, then you're going to want to be very, very aware. If all you ever use is an external recorder, then you don't need to worry about it. Because as you saw, when the external recorder is not connected, it just records internally. I connect the recorder, it records externally. It's a no-brainer. But if you have both, and you're switching between them, and you're using the C1 settings, the custom settings, that is where you run into the problem, and that's where I ran into the problem. And literally half of the shots that I did yesterday don't exist because I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So <laughs> now that I've told you what not to do with your GH5, let me tell you how to use your GH5. I actually have an entire training course, if you haven't seen this yet, at gh5training.com. It is a five and a half hour training course that is all about the GH5, all the things that you can do with it. It does not, however, include things that you shouldn't do with it, like this one here. Those are reserved for those embarrassing YouTube videos. So there is that. One other thing I wanted to tell you about, in October, October 19th, 20th and 21st, there is this thing in outside of Boston, in Melrose, Massachusetts, at Hunt's Camera, Hunt's Photo, called Hunt's Photo and Video Show. I am going to be there doing two events, two live events. They are, the on Friday, October 19th at 1 p.m., a getting started with video from shooting to editing, and on Saturday morning, October 20th at 11 a.m., I'm going to do a seminar on travel photography, keeping it nimble, affordable, and fun. To register for those, and they're both free, so if you're in the Boston area, these are both free events, go to photojoseph.com slash events. You will find the links there to take you to the, um, to, get to the actual sign-up page, and that's everything you need to know. So if you're in the Boston area, late October, the week before Photo Plus Expo, Friday and Saturday, come on out and see me. Say hi. Join the party. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's that. Okay, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Let's switch this over to Q&A. I see a few questions rolling by, some people laughing at my mistake. Huh, I know, laugh at the dummy. I will, uh, I, I will try to address those starting right now.